attention, please. We have some very serious uh, problems in our country today. We know that. Without getting, believe me, I'm not going to get political at all. But there are some men and women in our lives that are very, very important to our each and every day lives here in the homeland. That, of course, is our men serving in our armed services. Of course, our past veterans that have served in earlier wars. But each and every day when we wake up to the sounds of freedom in this country, there are men and women, American men and women, that are in our armed forces that wake up to different sounds. The sounds of gunfire, the sounds of turmoil, death destruction. Without them doing their job, and believe me, they do it whether you're a Protestant, Catholic, Jewish, no faith whatsoever. They do it if you're a Democrat, a, a Republican, or whatever, progressive. They don't care. Their job is to preserve our freedoms. And we owe them a lot each and every day of our lives because we hope and we pray that they come back from the mainland, they come back to the mainland, to enjoy the very freedoms and the things that they protect for us on a day-to-day -day basis. Through our moment of silence, let's show that we care. It's very simple. A moment of silence, please. Thank you, and Godspeed. And now I introduce to you for our national anthem, Lisa Yurcho. Lisa? Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proud broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we wash were so gallantly streaming and the that will take over and I'll get off the mic but I'd like to introduce to you some very very nice people your name sir Jesse Day and a lie back <laughs> right Ava Christman Cecilia Day Emma Christman okay and over here we have the Jastrzemski family and you are ma'am Carol Jastrzemski and sir Buddy Jastrzemski. All right, and now I introduce to you. Pastor Sue, Sue Scheffler. Good afternoon. What a lovely, lovely day we have here today. I don't know how many of you realize that the first Labor Day was actually a parade of about 10,000 workers in New York City in 1882. And it was arranged by the secretary of one of the unions. In 1893, there were more than half of the states were celebrating Labor Day one or um, one day or another. And in 1894, Congress passed a bill to establish it as a federal holiday. While it's not 
a religious day, we honor all of those who toil for the good of all of our communities. Just like our celebration committee, who have worked so hard for this annual event, and we give thanks to and for them, I think they deserve a round of applause. If you'll pray with me for a moment. Creator God, you call us to serve one another in loving community. Be with us in our work. Let it enhance human dignity and bond us to one another. Help us to be invested in our work, to get a fair return for our labor, and to have joy in knowing that all work finds its source in you. Inspire us to continue to care for your creation and grant to everyone tasks that call us to be our best and to unite with one another in your love. We pray for those whose work is not acknowledged or appreciated. We pray for those who have been injured or lost their lives related to work. We pray for those who continue to deal with unsafe or dangerous working conditions. Walk by their side and be their strength and courage. We pray for those who have contributed to our community and gone before us in faith. We remember them and give thanks for their leadership and care, especially those who have left us since last year. Bill Schaefer, Paul Baum, John Hawk, Isla Mayberger, Margaret Van Blargen, Wendy Day. Is there anyone we're missing in that list? And now to our dedications. We will be dedicating three things. The pink swings, the lanterns, and rededicating the tables under the pavilion. We gather here asking the special favor of Jesus Christ as we dedicate and rededicate these swings and the lanterns and the tables in memory of those who have gone before us. We recommit ourselves in their memory to this community that they loved. Our path will be lighted by these lanterns in memory of Gary Kroll, who helped the found the celebration we now enjoy, who was dedicated to his community and family, and was instrumental in constructing the pavilion, the stage, and pretty much everything in between. We will enjoy food and rest, on the rededicated tables in memory of Donald Michael, who worked diligently for this community and park and whose wife continues the legacy today. We will enjoy the swings in memory of Wendy Jaskrimski Day and remember her generosity of spirit, her kindness, and her love of life, nature, and others. May we hear her voice in the wind as we swing, reminding us to enjoy these pleasures and places that life has to give. Jesus has called us into community and intended for us to live as family. Let us follow his and Wendy's and Gary's and Donald's examples. May we care for each other in the spirit in which they lived with a sensitivity to those around us to what is needed and how we can be the best community we can be. Bless this park. May those who share it enjoy the beauty of your creation in loving fellowship with each other. We thank God for this park and the gift of these people in our lives. We continue to be thankful for God's endless generosity and love. Amen. There will be one more thing. Um, I don't know where, in Nancy, okay. So um, some people have envelopes. Please don't open them until I finish reading the poem that goes with them. There will be butterflies inside, and when they come out, they may crawl on you until they take off. Please try not to touch their wings because the oil on your hands may prevent them from flying. This is a butterfly release. As you release this butterfly in honor of me, know that I am with you and will always be. Hold a hand, say a prayer, close your eyes and see me there. Although you may feel a bit torn apart, 
Please know that I am with you forever in your heart. Now fly away, butterfly, as high as you can go. I'm right there with you, more than you know. Thank you, Pastor. And you can release them at this time. We do have some uh, plaques here that we want to uh, give out. And I, before I do this, I, I f forgot to mention in our moment of silence those that are dedicated to serving the public good. And that would be our police forces and our firefighters and our first responders, which are always there day after day after day. May we please have a moment of silence and remembrance and that showing again that we care for those police fight for our public service. Um, moment please. Melissa Cross. Melissa. And we have some more family members here. Cindy McGuire. Linda Mankovic. Jackie Holtz. Jackie Holtz. Okay, uh, Gary Kroll not only was a member of our Lions Club, our local Lions Club, and very instrumental in that, but he was a community member. He, he cared about his community, he cared about his family, he cared about the things that we all care about as good people. He was one of the best, and we remember him always. In recognition of the service and in, member, in remembrance of Gary Kroll, in appreciation of his 16 years of dedicated service to the Township of North Union. We present this at this time. Now, where we had our uh, master of ceremonies, I just want to say, or as master of ceremonies, our grand marshal. And this year, our recipient of our distinguished North Union Township resident goes to Mr. Alan Mooney. How about a round of applause? They tell me you're a man of few words. <laughs> So I'm not going to pressure it, Alan. Uh, is there anything you would like to say? Oh, not really. <laughs> you said, he smokes, he said it all. It's 94 years, <laughs> 92 years. You said it all, right? We recognize you as an outstanding citizen way before we had this award was ever presented. And we presented this the North Union Township Distinguished Citizen Award presented to Alan E. Mew Movie August 31st, 2019 from the Nuremberg Selfish Congratulations. What happens to the money? We don't donate. It takes money to run an operation, but I can guarantee you that we work real hard to do the things that you see before us now, and we do continue to work right ahead to the 21st annual <laughs> celebration again. So, and if you folks just support it, we're just happy to do it. Uh, so, a good round of applause to you guys and gals out there to support our work. And we thank you. Enjoy. We've got a lot of good food, a lot of good games, and a lot of fun. Maybe we'll even get Mr. Rumi to dance with us. <laughs>